everyone, it's Nisha. So today I wanted to do this video spotlight on Madame Glam Cosmetics. I used to do these um, type of videos. I think I've done spotlight on Clarins, on Elf. Basically when I have few um, products from certain company that I really enjoy, I talk about the ones that I like and what I think about the company and the product. And you know already my love for Madame Glam. By the way, I'm not getting paid for this video. Let me read you what the company is about. So Madame Glam, it's a new, quite new, fast growing uh, cosmetic brand in a fashionable district of New York. Um, Madame Glam is sold exclusively online and comes from desire to bring colors, beauty and glamour to your home in a healthiest possible way with five free and cruelty free products so they are all cruelty free and i know that there is a lot of you out there that really care about that um i have a few products and um i have a quite good relationship with um madame glam and now and again they send me free products to try so I've got quite a collection now and I know you've heard about them but let me just go through what I've got and what I think about it. So the first thing they ever came out with was nail polishes and they are five free, cruelty free and vegan. So I, ha Ooh, I have quite a few, uh, of course I kept the beautiful bright pinks, be my baby love the bottles as well they are such a good quality the coverage is great i don't use nail polishes very often but i use them um in the winter especially on my toes so i know and i also give in few to my sister-in-law who uses um nail polish all the time and she was very impressed and uh, then i have a hot and spicy which is another beautiful pink I've shown them to you before, Hot Date, which is a fluorescent pink with a bit of uh, purple running through it. I'm sure on this camera it will all look orange, because anything that is fluorescent pink in this camera looks orange. This one is absolutely gorgeous, Pearl River. They are like big, chunky, multicolored glitters. So that looks great on its own. Or you can top your nail polish with it and then I have drink with me which is a very sort of aubergine color with a shimmer and text me later cream purple dark purple now you all know about me loving the soak of gels so then Madame Glam came out with the soak of gels which are fabulous quality and I won't bore you because I talked about talk about them every time I've got a new one I'm wearing um, this one right now this is magenta so these are the soak of gels that you need UV lamp or um, LED lamp to cure uh, so I have quite a few of those and I love them I've done a tutorial of applying one of the Madame Glam gel, gel polishes so I might put it um, in the description box or here when you see the eye um, click on that okay then they have lip products um, and from lip products they do lipsticks and lipsticks come in shiny and matte and uh, they do lip glosses which this is a bit confusing because on on a tube is a slip lacquer but i think on the website it's a slip gloss anyway the first thing i'm going to show you is the menthol lip balm okay comes in a box like this and it's just one of these that you can use as a gloss on the top of your lipstick or on its own it's got lovely menthol taste but sweet as well at the same time and is very very moisturizing so it's a gloss but he has moisturizer in it this is not a plump or anything like that it is a basically moisturizing gloss now let me tell you about the lipsticks so lipsticks come in shiny which to me 
it's more satin finish it's not shiny shiny but that's what they are called on the website shiny or matte i don't have any matte ones i'm not a fan of matte lipsticks anyway um if i have a matte lipstick i always will top it off with a, with a gloss so i don't use many matte lipsticks at, at all so i have four lipsticks here and they are all shiny which are satin okay so let me go first with this one 120 in posy and the packaging is so cute it's very reminds me very much of um, nars you know this this tube like a velvety black color i love that they are so little although the actual size of the bullet is just a standard lipstick size but the case is much smaller which is nice okay so this is posy and of course this is one of my nudes it is a um sort of neutral nude pink so that's posy they are, they are i suppose they are shiny they, they have shine but they feel very satin like and they are very creamy go on really really nicely they are enriched with antioxidants and vitamin e they are long lasting formulas and they're paraben free as well then you have uh, Fiesta, which is number 45. And this is so my colour. It looks a bit like my nails. Typical, you know, blue pink, which, you know, I absolutely adore. So that's Fiesta. Oh, this is very true to colour. I'm trying to move my hand. So there. So that is absolutely gorgeous. In fact, for this video, I didn't know what lipstick to wear or gloss, but because my eyes are a bit peachy, I went with, you know what, with. i tell you in a minute. Uh, then we have number 54, Impatient Pink. And this is more of a darker fuchsia pink. Yeah, this is true fuchsia pink. So that's the impatient pink. You see the gloss on them and they are so, so creamy. Now, they don't really have any smell to them. Just a normal lipstick smell. Do you know, they remind me a bit of Tom Ford lipstick smells, which is nothing nice like vanilla or... But when you apply it, you don't really smell anything. And the fourth one is Pink Angel number 110. And this is like a beige nude, which I also love. Peachy nude. There it is. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love those lipsticks. And then, you know, I've already talked about it so many times, the lip lacquers. And again, on a the tube they say lip lacquer, but I'm sure on a the website they are called lip glosses. It's the same thing. And my two favourite, well my favourite in the whole world is this one and it is back in stock now, is the Affection and that's what I'm wearing. Actually, what I'm wearing is the Pink Angel first and then I put Affection on the top of it. But you know you can wear it on its own because they just have amazing coverage. They are not sticky. They are very creamy. I can't get over this one. I still can't get, get over this one. I've got two more now for backups. So this is Affection. And I know it was out of stock for a very long time, but it is back. And my second favourite is the Party Girl, which is, again, this beautiful fuchsia pink. They are more like, to me, they are not lip glosses. They're more like liquid lipsticks. And that's the Party Girl. They are absolutely gorgeous. I, You know how much I love them. I can't say anything else about them. Okay, the next product, which I only have one of, is... Um, oh, I didn't tell you a bit more about the lip glosses. The lip glosses are high intensity, very creamy, not sticky. They are enriched with vitamins A, B and C 
and all sorts of antioxidants so they are also very good for your lips um okay the next thing is a blush so they do powder blush and i have touch of pink again the packaging is really nice and sleek a very small and touch of pink is a dusty rose to me i'm wearing that today actually i thought i wear as many as possible there it is to me this is more of a dusty rose it is not like pink pink uh, they are very feels very velvety it is triple milled and is of course paraben free so i only have that one um here yeah, but it's it, it is matte as well which i quite like now um for eyes i don't have anything for eyes but they do liquid eyeliner mascara and they do liquid eyeliners, mascara and eyeshadows which are mineral, paraben free, gluten free as well and fragrance free. But I don't have any of those. Now for the face, they started doing a bit of skincare as well. So I have the Omega 3 Face Serum which is for normal to dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but mine is sort of normal with an oily T-zone, but that doesn't matter. So this is all natural, cold pressed cranberry seed oil with high antioxidant levels. And it is, it, it feels so gorgeous. It's quite runny, but it feels very, um, feels like very thin oil you know not not too greasy or anything it's got quite nice scent but you know it smells quite natural you can tell it's not a synthetic smell okay let me read you the um the omega-3 face serum a lightweight oil containing powerful moisturizing agents packed with nutrients a velvet mattifying effect with no greasy afterfill all natural cold pressed cranberry seed oil with high antioxidant levels makes this an excellent moisturizer with superior skin conditioning properties apply apply to face and neck area after toner before moisturizer at night so this is night treatment oh look how lovely moisturized my hand looks now so it comes in a love this is, is it plastic it's hard to tell if it's plastic or it must be plastic it's not heavy enough um container with a pump which is great now the um for face as well they have a bb cream age defiance tinted moisturizer so they say it's bb cream but they call it tinted moisturizer and i quite like that because a lot of bb creams are just that especially the western ones they are tinted moisturizers um let me just read you about that one this bb cream is specially formulated to even out skin for a smooth and flawless finish enriched with aloe vera cucumber extract it soothes and regenerates the skin contains alatoin and panthenol to increase the smoothness of skin Provides superior skin protection that might prevent the appearance of premature skin aging and darkening. Suitable for all skin types. Um, this one is in light. So let me swatch that for you. And light is not that light. I like it because it's more on a yellowy side. I don't really use BB creams because on its own or tinted moisturizers because as you know that doesn't give me enough coverage uh, but I could start using this now I've got my cover effects drops I could start mixing them with that and then see what I get but you know this is color light but don't think it is for your uh, pale for you very pale girls this is like my color now I would say this to me looks almost NC27 something like that if you know your color in MAC so it is not light light um, but then I suppose we use more of BB creams in the summer and in the summer we get a bit of tan or self tan so I suppose 
that's why you have those colors a bit darker than you would in foundation let's say but um, the only thing is i don't think this has spf in it at all so you would have to use your own spf but um but yeah but it's it's got all the these other skin loving ingredients so that was the BB cream and the last thing and I've just noticed that the box is empty the cream is probably downstairs because you know me and my hand creams this is luxurious hand cream for all skin types it's called Madame Blam Nourish luxurious hand cream it comes in a white box like this and it is a lightly scented non-greasy quick quick absorbing hand cream that provides ultimate level of hydration and nourishment it's true it smells gorgeous i love the smell and it is very very delicate smell sinks in really quickly hydrates your um your hands it is a it's got a combination of uh, jojoba oil avocado shea butter and aloe softens and refines the hands so yeah you know me and hand creams and i really love it that's why it's not here because it will be downstairs where i always sit and um apply my my what my hand cream yeah yeah this bb cream's got quite good coverage but not enough for me especially you see with me i will need more coverage in the summer which seems wrong way round but because I get melasma, my melasma intensifies and my dark spots when the sun comes out. I need more coverage, but um, with the cover effects drops, I might be able to get that without looking cakey. Anyway, so that was my spotlight on Madame Glam. I adore most of the products. Um, I haven't use the BB cream that much but if you are into um, tinted moisturizers you should enjoy that just remember that the light one is not like your pale pale light one it, I would say it's more of a medium um, color the lipsticks are wonderful gels I cannot tell you more about how much I love them and these these it's like you know i'm in love okay so i hope that told you a bit more about the company again i'm not getting paid for this video i just wanted to do it because i like him and i wanted to bring your attention to the company especially because it's cruelty free um also i think i only have a couple of uh, codes for your discount con codes and i think they just apply to the nail polishes or to the gels soak of gels and it will it will be somewhere in my description box down the bottom with all the affiliated and discount links so that was it um thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye